Hello, Paul Ellis from the Rick Group here. Doing a webinar on our warehouse management solution for Sage 300. The Rick Group started in 2001 and we've customers all over the world, including Australia, New Zealand, North America, Asia, Middle East and Africa. The customers we have are in distribution and manufacturing. We've been a sponsor for the Sage 300 Roadshow. We are a current Sage 300 development partner and we work with the Sage 300 partner channel globally. Why SBO4 from the RIG Group? Our warehouse management solution is a proven warehouse management solution with sites all over the world. And we're using new technology which allows us to run on all environments and has become agnostic. Our audits are in real time. We're using Power BI for business intelligence. It's completely organically integrated with Sage 300. It's using a web service and API for integration. The software runs on all devices such as tablets, Android rugged devices or Windows 10 uh, as well. The RIC Group is Australian made and Australian owned software. Now we've got freight integrations such as Star Trek, Australia Post, Toll Group, PDT Careers and eParcel. For further information please email us at sales at therickgroup.com or visit our website for further information. So I've logged into our warehouse management solution and you can see that I'm using a browser to log in and I'm just using a Windows 10 machine to log in. I don't have a, a scanner with me, but if I'm using a rugged Android device, then I would have a scanner for barcode scanning or I could use a tablet with a Bluetooth scanner as well. Over here I have Sage 300. Sage 300 is running and what I want to do is create some transactions in the Sage 300 with flow down to the warehouse management solution and we post back the information uh, such as shipments, receipts and stock transfers. So first of all I'm going to do an order entry. So I'm going to create a sales order that flows down to the warehouse. I'm going to pick and pack that and I'm going to send back a shipment. So once I create or select my customer. The next thing I can do is select my item. So with one of the things that we've added here in our warehouse management solution, we've added zones and I'll show you how we've done that. So therefore you could pick zone picking, you could do heavy, medium, light. Uh, you might have chilled, freezer and dry. So let's get into this though. I'm going to select a product. So I'm going to enter two for quantity ordered. And I'm going to select another product and I'll just do two for quantity ordered as well. Add that and then I've got my sales order. It's active so it will flow down to the warehouse management solution and so I've got my two products and I can post. Once I've posted you can see that it's created sales order number 342. So when I go to the warehouse management solution, I can go into the sales tab and go into pick pack manager. Pick pack manager allows us to release sales orders for the warehouse to pick. Now I could be releasing sales orders here in Melbourne for a warehouse in Sydney to pick. I could be releasing in Los Angeles for a New York warehouse to pick as well. So it doesn't matter where I'm releasing the sales orders, but this is an operational opportunity to ensure that you're setting the right business process up for the warehouse. So if I choose today's date, which I, I can, so choose the, to the 28th, I can find, and you can see straight away, I can find that sales order 342. By selecting that sales order, I've got two opportunities here. I can release by document, and I can release by line. And I'm just gonna show you the release by line. You can see here, if I release by line, I've got the opportunity to release one line at a time. This might be that I have stock of the first item and or not of the second item. So let's go back and find that again. And what I'm going to do here is release by document. So when I release by document, I can go to the release tab and I can see 342 has created a pick ID of 20. If I click here, it will actually go straight away and open up the pick. But if I was a warehouse management user, I could have users in picking and then different users in packing. So I've got a process here 
that I want to pick the order, then pack. So I'm going to pick it out of the bin location and then pack the goods. So you can see here, I have all my sales orders ready to be picked. So these are the sales orders that are currently in the warehouse ready to be picked. By clicking on pick ID, or if I could scan a barcode, I could scan the barcode of a pick ID and it will bring it up. Now I've got two screens here. I've got the screen where it's showing me the overall input of the, which items to pick, which bin locations. The other screen I can go into is the manual order entry screen. So you can see this is probably an easier screen to use when using a rugged device. Because I can go into the tool menu here, select uh, developer tools, and you can see here I've got you know different, different things here, uh, different selections, and so this screen works really well when picking items uh, for pickers. I could have multiple pickers picking at once, remember. This is online real-time warehouse management solution, which allows multiple people to pick, and there's a complete audit at the end of the day as well. So there's a live audit. I can add that too, and it's taking me to the next product led by the bin location. For this uh, demonstration database, I've just got a system bin location. Quantity two. So like if I select bin locations, it's gonna give me the other bin locations for that product in that warehouse I'm in. So remember this picker is actually picking the products for the warehouse. And add two. So when I go back, I know that that's fully picked. You can see here that the color has now changed to green. I can press complete here and I'll be ready to pack. But if I go back to the pick order list, you can see it's green. It's ready to be completed. Uh, and the ones here that are, which are white are ready to be picked. So once I press complete, it's gonna tell me okay, and it's now off the picker screen. They can start picking the next product or the next sales order or the next pick ID because one of the things that the pick pack manager allows you to do is release a wave. I could release a wave pick and then pack each individual order. So when I go to sales, I can go to packing. Once I'm in packing, here I am, I can say, yep, this is the order that I want, which is the pick ID, and I can say pack items. So the way that we've done it as well is allowed the user to pick multiple orders if they wanted to do a wave, but they could also pack multiple orders as well. Now, without a barcode, what I'm gonna have to do is copy this and say search. So for this demonstration, I'm just manually entering the item and I'll select that item. And you can see here, it's got the, the bulb, no problems at all. And I'm gonna say I'm packing two. So when I've packed two, you can see here I've picked two. Well, first of all, I've released two in the sales order. I've picked two and I've packed two. And the next item is this one. And I'll just search for that. Obviously, if I was having a barcode scanner, I could scan the items and the uh, pack quantity would increment according to the actual item that I'm scanning. I could have inner and outer as well. So I could have inner barcodes and outer barcodes. So here's my two items I have now packed. So I'm completed and this button up here is now changed to complete. So one of the important things to remember is during this pick pack manager, opportunity here we actually are tracking the complete progress of that pick so it's finished a pack it's going to be completed with the shipment created i can see every stage of an order so i could see everything's been released everything's in progress once packed and then once it's been finished packed it will go into completed so you can see here i've got my order 342 it is now completed and the shipment 301 has been created. If I go into Sage 300, 342, so now the sales order 342, we know it's been updated. You can see up here the shipment 301. And if I go into shipment entry and open up shipment, I can go to the last one because I know it's 301. And you can see here shipment 301 has been created ready for the next phase of invoicing. So uh, status is incomplete currently, but we can see quantity shipped is two and quantity on order was two.
So we've got a pick and pack process in the warehouse management solution. Sales orders are created in Sage. The products are flowing down from Sage 300. So the items that users selected, whether it's batch tracked or whether it's serial tracked will flow down and the warehouse management solution uses the data from Sage. So it's completely organic. And what we're doing here is in real time. So we're actually going and having a look at the sales order as soon as someone has clicked the button, it goes and grabs the data. The second part here to have a look at is to ensure that everyone understands that the picking audits, date time, we know the picker and we can uh, do a report out of this straight away. So you can see here, I can have a look at that pick, I can see the date time and I can actually see the user who's picked those items. Now, if there was a different user who picked this line, it would show as well. So from the audit, I can actually go in a little bit further to that and say, I want to use KPIs and now I want to use actual um, information from, from the database to go and use dashboards and reports in Power BI and business intelligence tools as well. So just going back here, pick pack manager, we release the sales orders and then using the picking screen, we can go and pick the orders and then we can go and pack the orders. Now there's different combinations that we can do just picking or we can do pick and pack. And you know, that normally happens in the configuration side of things. I appreciate your time. Thank you for listening. And please feel free to send us any emails at sales at the Thank you.